an interesting aspect of any business right in the previous uh, little live and in the previous sessions i have always talked about fpna and where the world is transitioning as far as finance is concerned it used to be accounting then basically we saw something known as an mis now all these functions are critical i am not denying that fact i mean you take accounting and you take financial reporting financial reporting is the crux of any organization from a governance standpoint mis is basically a legal entity mis where there are various management reporting that happens but fpna is basically the analytics right and the forward looking statement or the forward looking views what basically an fpna professional should be bringing to the table now one of the most important aspect in any organization what an fpna professional should look at cash conversion cycle what do you mean by cash conversion cycle it is basically also known as working capital cycle in many organization cash conversion cycle means very simple the entire cycle of the business the entire cycle of the business ultimately what is the ultimate objective it is not to make profits but to make cash cash is basically the king in any organization and cash is something which is very important now the concept of cash conversion cycle i'll try to explain in a very simple way i procure the raw materials i make the finished goods i process it in the factory i sell it to the customer i collect the money i do the billing etc i adjust everything this entire cycle okay managing inventory in between this entire cycle is known as the cash conversion cycle of any organization this is the crux you take trading business you take manufacturing business you take service business in case of manufacturing my cash conversion cycle will comparatively be higher than a service industry my trading business will have comparatively a shorter cash conversion cycle as compared to manufacturing industry but it is very important to look at this conversion cycle because in trading the concept is very simple how many times in a year are you able to rotate your cash that is a crux because that many number of times you can multiply your margins and basically have an incremental margin leverage in case of manufacturing it's all about managing your cash flows managing your conversion cycles you purchase a raw material you process it you build an inventory you sell the finished goods you go to customer you bill it you build the uh, uh, you build the money after that you collect the money it completes the entire conversion cycle okay now there are quite a few parameters which are very important to track as far as cash conversion cycle is concerned because i had given an analogy to all of you one of the most important aspect for any fpna professional is to start with budgets and a five year business plan now when you monitor the actuals against that budgets one of the key parameters is to look at the cash conversion cycle right now cash conversion cycle what are the various levers in any business that will impact this cash conversion cycle one of the most important levers more and more you improve the gross margin of the business more and more the cash conversion cycle will significantly improve one of the most important parameter within this also is the inventory movement if you rationalize your inventory if you plan your inventory better your gross margin obviously has to improve better the second important lever is going to be fixed cost more and more you improve the fixed cost the conversion cycle is going to be better and there are two to three important aspects of the business like a debtor's turnover how within how many days you are able to collect within how many days you are able to pay and within how many days you are basically able to recycle the inventory back to the business these are the three important aspects as far as ratio management is concerned and would you believe all of these five parameters put together okay actually impacts your cash conversion cycle any levers that you modify any levers that you change significantly as a cfo and fpn a professional and you give the clarity to business you can actually end up changing your operating cycle and operating policies of the company and see that significantly improves your working capital cycle or cash conversion cycle in any organization take the best example of dmart dmart all of us know the business model right they are doing significantly well now, what is the usp of dmart they are able to pay their vendors within 15 days how ask me how simple the inherent business model of dmart is basically they get immediate cash to vendors they are able to pay within 15 days because they get bulk discounts again that bulk discount they are able to pay within 15 days and i am able to collect immediately they are able to manage the float very efficiently they are able to pass on the discounts to the customers that's why dmart operates in a very efficient way in a limited operating office space manner unlike the large startups and large unicorns who basically take tons of offers and large office premises and still make losses that is not the model what dmart has dmart basically operates in a very lean model it's known as lean organization they have a lean office lean setup lean retail setup customers come they pay cash immediately 
they get a bulk discount they get a lot of discount they use that working capital to procure goods where they get bulk discounts and they are able to pay the vendors within 15 days the more and more efficiency you bring in to pay your vendors your vendors will become a priority and you will become a priority for your vendor if you become a priority for your vendor your vendor will supply the raw materials and goods on time to you that's very important to manage your cash conversion cycle right so the impact of cash conversion cycle plays a very huge role as far as any organization is concerned be it service be it trading be it pharmaceutical be it manufacturing in services you render the services you choke your working capital you have unbuilt revenue only once you build it gets converted into debtors that's a complete cash conversion cycle blockage which is there more and you more you track the unbuilt revenue more and more you track the collections more and more you bring efficiency in billing process that is going to improve the cash conversion cycle significantly right so one of the key aspect what we learned today as a fpna professional and as a cfo your focus has to be on cash conversion cycle on operating cash flows of the organization